Hi there, English learners. Welcome to the English of Everything. My name is Benjamin, if you don't know, and today's lesson we are going to be describing things from the kitchen. And we call these things white goods. And white goods are all the electronical equipment that we have in a kitchen. So I'm going to show you 11 pictures of these goods, and I'm going to describe to you the vocabulary, what they are, and what they do. So, Here's the pictures. Speak to you later. The first item we have in this picture is a washing machine. And a washing machine is for washing your clothes. If you will notice, there is a circle in the middle of the washing machine, and this is called the door. And you open the door, and inside is called a drum. And drum is the place that spins round and round with your clothes inside. So you put your clothes into the drum, you close the door again, you put the program in you want, you add your washing powder or your washing liquid, and then you press start and the washing machine washes your clothes and after a while you have nice clean clothes again. This next picture is a dishwasher and it washes your dishes. You can see in the picture there are two drawers, an upper drawer and a lower drawer, and it is filled with different dishes. There are glasses, there are knives and forks and plates and cups, and generally all of these are called dishes. And the door at the front is a vertically opening door, so it opens down, you pull it down, you load the dishwasher, you push the drawers back in and you close the dishwasher and turn it on and you have nice sparkly clean dishes after you have eaten from them. Picture number three is of a fridge and you keep food inside a fridge. In this fridge it's very well stocked and there is a lot of food on each of the drawers. And in the door there are different condiments and drinks at the bottom of the fridge there is generally fruit and vegetables and as you go up there is meat and at the top you can see eggs and this fridge is a fridge freezer which means the bottom half of it is a fridge for keeping things cool and the top half of it is a freezer and a freezer is for freezing food to keep it for longer periods of time here we have a coffee maker a coffee maker and for any of you that like to have a coffee in the morning. It's a very good way of starting the day and jumpstart your system and give you some caffeine and some energy. And you have a coffee. These two coffees are espressos. They are small coffees with a very high concentration of coffee and caffeine. And it gives you a jolt and it starts you in the morning. This next picture is when you do the cooking and this is an oven. And an oven gets very, very hot you'll notice this is a two-part oven. So the bottom part is the oven and the top part is called a grill. And the oven is for long, slow cooking, for example, meat and chicken and fish and things like this. And there are two levels on it. And the higher the level, the hotter it gets. And in the grill in the top, there is an open flame above the food. And so it toasts the food on the top more. So it's when you want something very fast cooking rather than very slow and very thoroughly. So this is an oven. Now this next item is a microwave oven. A microwave oven. And this is for heating food very, very quickly. And it uses microwaves to heat your food. And just recently, it's been more and more controversial thing that people realize that heating your food with radioactivity is probably not the best for your health. But it's a very good, fast way of heating your food. And this is a microwave. And if you push the button on the bottom right hand side of the microwave, the door will pop open and you put your food inside and the food rotates on a circular plate. So it heats all the way through. So this is a microwave. We next have a kettle, a kettle. And a kettle is for boiling water. You open the top, fill the kettle with water, and then turn it on. And after a while, the kettle will boil. When the water becomes 100 degrees, it's boil. 
and we use this for tea and coffee and for cooking and things like this. So this is a kettle for boiling water. This is a toaster. A toaster. And a toaster is for making toast. It's a small box with two slots on the top where you put the bread or bagels or anything else you want to toast into the top and you press the handle on the right hand side down and the bread goes inside the toaster and there are some very hot filaments or so very hot wires that heat up and heat the toast. On the bottom right hand side of the toaster you see a dial, a black round dial and this is for adjusting the heat and the length of how long you toast the bread for so you can have it only lightly toasted or you can have it very very burnt excuse me and so this is a toaster this white item is called a blender and a blender is for mixing and blending food together it's an electronic item you take the top off the blender and you put whatever food inside that you want to mix you put the top back on and then you turn the dial, this grey dial you see on the front of it and at the bottom of the blender there is a blade and it's a very sharp blade and it's for cutting the food at very very high revolutions and so all the food gets mixed together and blended and you can use it for cooking. This is a blender. And so the final item we have today, oh it's not the final item, final but one, so the penultimate item is a juicer. This is a juicer and as the name says it is for making juice. You can see on the picture that there are some apples, oranges and kiwi fruits and some pepper and it's for fruit and vegetables and it's for getting the juice from the vegetables and so you can drink it and it's very very healthy. So I highly recommend juicing every day to get lots of vitamins and minerals from the fruit and vegetables you are eating and drinking. And so now we have the last item on the list and this is a steamer, a steamer. And a steamer is for steam cooking food. In this picture you can see there is some salmon with lemon in the middle compartment and in the top compartment there are lots and lots of vegetables. And a steamer works by placing water into the black part of the steamer and it becomes very hot and when water boils steam rises up. And when the steam rises up, it cooks the food that is above it. And there's no need for oil, there's no need for pans, there's no need for this type of cooking. So it's very good for fresh, healthy vegetables without any fats, without any mm, things like this. So this is a steamer. So that's everything for now. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helps you a lot and I look forward to speaking to you in another video. Okay, bye-bye everybody.